On this Beer Guys TV brewcast, we're gonna get down and dirty with Pile of Dirt Porter. If you're looking for serious, in-depth beer information, well, you're listening to the wrong show. But if you want fun and entertaining beer information, you've come to the right place. It's another Beer Guys TV podcast. Hey, welcome everyone to the Beer Guys TV Brewcast. Greg Johnson, we're joined today by Carol. Hey, Carol Ann. And of course, our producer, Shane Zeppelin. Welcome Hello. back once again. Once again. To our revamped studios in Glencoe, Minnesota. Yes. Yeah, it's very cozy nice, in here. Very nice. Yeah, it's nice and getting better. So anyway, speaking of getting better, we got some beer to talk about on this brewcast. And this beer is brought to us by one of our super fans. Oh, really? We we, 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 we never turn down free beer. No, of course so, not. So our, our buddy Mike from Colorado was uh, made the trek back to Minnesota. He stopped in South Dakota and picked Ooh. up some beer. He said, I'm going to bring this back for the brew guys. Nice. So the beer guys. We're the beer guys, not the brew guys. Well, whatever. Yeah. It works. And gals, too. And gals. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Yep. Yeah, and the gals. So thanks to Mike from Colorado, one of our super fans and you two are more than in, um, invited or welcome to bring us beer anytime. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and we'll review it, too. No extra charge. Right. <laughs> but anyway, we don't know uh, really anything about this beer other than what we've read on the can or a little bit of research. So it's it's Pile of Dirt Porter. It's, uh, it comes to us from Crow Peak Brewing out of uh, Spearfish, South, South Dakota, out there in the Black Hills. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it's a uh, nice area. Yeah, it's beautiful. Always a fun place to visit. Mm -hmm. you know, the Mount Rushmore. And, uh, of course, I know the bikers all go out there in August for the big bike thing and, yep. and all that, too. But anyway, uh, it's an American porter. Comes in at 6% on the ABV and uh, 25 on the IBUs. So, wow. Yeah. Which a lot of times the porters are stouts, you don't get much on the IBUs. Mm -hmm. So it'll be kind of interesting how they did this. But again, Pile of Dirt Porter. Here. Yeah, it's yeah. it's a nice looking can. And uh, uh, Crow Peak Brewing Company, Spearfish, South Dakota. So again, thanks to Mike and uh, for bringing it back here. And uh, we appreciate that. We'll check that out here. Look at Shane's checking that thing out. What do you think? Yeah, that's pretty nice. It's, pretty kind cool. of, kind of, it's a good looking can. So, so far, so good. Yeah. But we have yet to delve in. I've been to a couple breweries in the Black Hills. Have you? Yeah. Oh. I don't remember which ones. Not this one, though. No, oh, well, good. <laughs> so this will be a new This will be a new one, yeah. Well, I'm going to crack this open, Shane. Do that, please. I'm going to. Ah, there we go. All right. Ladies first. There Give Miss Carol Ann some of this. Uh... Well, it's kind of different. Hmm. I gave you kind of a generous glass there, didn't I? Yeah. I'm so nice. Good thing you we are. have two cans of it. Yeah, that's good. Two cans, like two cans Sam. <laughs> uh -huh. Good. Well, otherwise, I'd be in trouble, wouldn't I? I've had pretty much. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, you don't get to take. You don't get to judge. Does that mean the rest is for me? <laughs> <laughs> see how see how I did that? Oh. oh, I'm not as dumb as I look. Thank goodness for that, right? <laughs> hey, you guys, be quiet. I'm not saying nothing. Yeah, you're wise, yeah. and you. No. Okay. Saying nothing. We'll save mm. save this in case anybody in our studio audience would like to try it. Yeah, you guys are welcome to try it after after the show. So, at any rate, yeah, kind of a well. So far, looks uh, looks okay. Pretty dark. Not we've had darker beers, of course, but mm -hmm. smell a little bit of chocolate coming off there. Very opaque. Um, yeah, but you, you and I saw on the website it says it's kind of got a little bit of a red hue. I see that. It sure does. Yeah, a little light. bit of a, yeah. A little, if you look up the light, it does have that. Yeah, a little rubyish ish or yeah. Yeah. tint. Rubyish. Yeah, yeah rubyish. That's a special term. <laughs> hmm. Smells good. It does. Anxious to try it, aren't I you? I am. I am. Yeah. Well, let's do a short break. Short break it is. Yeah. Short. Short. And then we'll come back and we'll give it the old try it, buy it, or skip it rating. Mm -hmm. Right here. Right after this. Sounds like a plan. Beer Guys TV brings you beer reviews and beer-related information in a fun and clean, entertaining way. Our website is a combination of beer articles, reviews, products, videos, and now podcasts, too. And you can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Check those out. Please take a moment to visit our sponsors as well and tell them that you heard about them or saw them right here on Beer Guys TV that will allow us to continue to bring you entertaining beer reviews and other fun stuff your way. And remember to enjoy your beer in moderation, never drink and drive, and always use a designated driver. That way you'll be around to enjoy more beer tomorrow. Hey, thanks for listening. And now, back to the show. 
Hey, welcome back to the Beer Guys TV Brewcast. Greg Johnson along with uh, Carol Ann and Shane Zeppelin. And uh, again, we are talking about Crow Peak Brewing Company's Pile O Dirt Porter, brought to us by one of our super fans, Mike from Colorado. Thank you, Mike. And during the break, we got a chance to taste this, and <laughs> it's interesting. Um, it's different, that's for sure. And uh, Carol, you want to start this one off? I will. That way you don't get stuck with it after we've said everything. Then yeah. you know, so we'll let Carol Ann uh, take this one first. Again, we, we rate, try it, buy it, or skip it. We'll see, what, we'll see what Carol comes up with. Well, my glass isn't more empty because I'm thirsty. It's, I just don't know how to describe this. It's mm. very different. I had to taste several times. Um, it's got nice lacing. It's not real heavy. Nope. Very dry. Um, Mouthfeel. Mouthfeel. Yeah. I don't get a whole lot of chocolate or coffee out of it, but there's a flavor that I just can't pinpoint. It's it's odd. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you leave uh, you um, leave us out of it. <laughs> uh, not dirt, does it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's dirt. Pile I'm not it. sure what it is. Um, being it's not real high in the IBUs or ABB, I'm sorry. Um, it's an easy drinker, but it's just got a different flavor. I. I I'd say try it if you're a Porter fan. Try it? Try it's, a, it. it's a try it from Carol Ann. Well, very good. You want to just move on down the line? Sure. Okay. Odd is a good description. <laughs> it's yeah. it's it's something something different in here that uh, I, I maybe pile of dirt is maybe it because I do get a little bit of an earthiness from it. There's an earthiness in so there. So the, I can see that. Um, yeah, it's just uh, so a dirt maybe yeah. <laughs> maybe. Not. It, it's it's got some flavor. It definitely has a dry mouthfeel for you. Mm -hmm. Your first sip, it kind of a uh, you can spit some cotton balls for a while. But yeah, uh, it's uh, when it's it comes back, that way. I get a real slight chocolate or, or maybe a, 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 just a tick of that uh, coffee off of there. Not not a great deal. Not like yeah. some of the ones we've right. had, of course. Um, but uh, it's just it's really unique. Yeah. Um, and I, 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 it's a tough one to rate. I'm gonna go with uh, I'm gonna go with a try it as well because if you like porters and stouts, you like to try something different out of the mainstream. I definitely try this one, mm -hmm. but uh, I can't quite put it into a buy it or range yeah. at this point. So mm -hmm. I try it for me. Okay, Shane Zeppelin, what do you My think? My turn. Yes. Yikes. Pile o dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes, he says. <laughs> okay. I'm kind of known for my euphemisms, right? <laughs> <laughs> You've got a few. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, here we go. What does that mean? I think if Dr. Pepper were a beer, mm. this would be it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got such a an odd flavor that can't be described. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, is there a hint of chocolate? Yeah, I get maybe a hint of cherry for some reason. Mm, um, kind of get that. Coffee and a tinge of sweetness. Yeah. Kind of, kind of on the back end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Maybe the, even more like a like a red wine with the dryness. And maybe the, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Because I mean, Dr Pepper's kind of that. I don't know, cherry chocolate mm -hmm. um, cola. Yeah, yeah. medicine. <laughs> yeah, Dr Pepper. Right? Yeah, yeah. Ten, two, and four. And I'm just the aroma is unsurprisingly the same as the taste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. So you're not going to get anything different on the aroma. Not much for hop. No. no. It's weird. It's it's an odd flavor. Mm -hmm. Very unique. I would like to try this on tap. Yeah, I'll bet it would. You know, yeah. Bet their tap house. It would be yeah. Weird, you know. I, I think it would be, and maybe let it warm up. It's pretty cold. I think if it was, it warms. It would change. Yeah. Now Brent is an advocate of letting a, a dark beer warm up a little bit. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, at 25 IBUs, I thought I'd get a little more hop or something other, and, and maybe that's just the, the combination. I don't know. But there is a weird, uh, something that happens at, at the end where <laughs> it like sucks the saliva out of every pore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. You turn into a prune for just a second. I mean, it's, it's beyond dry. Like maybe the tannins in a red wine would mm -hmm. do mm -hmm. that, that feeling in your mouth, but... I don't know if, it, if uh, again, I'd like to try this on tap, but for me in the can, uh, this doesn't happen often, but it's going to be a skip it. Yeah, yeah. A, sk a skip it yeah. for uh, Mr. Zeppelin. 
It's it's odd. I mean, like I say, if Dr. Pepper were a beer, this is as close as I can think that would be. That's an interesting analogy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. and we call it as we see it. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's right. what it is. So, yeah. uh, so two triads and a uh, skip it. And a skip it. Well, there you go. And, uh, but, you know, again, thanks to our buddy Mike from Colorado, yeah. our super yeah. fan. Thank you for being here. Anybody who's welcome. Obviously. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, you never know unless you try it. So that's going to, I guess, wrap it up for this Beer Guys TV Brewcast. For Carol and for Shane, I'm Greg. And until next time, a dirty <laughs> beers to ya. Beer Guys TV reminds you to drink responsibly. Never drink and drive and always use a DD. Be sure to expand your beer list by trying something different. Remember to check out BeerGuysTV.com and find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Thanks for listening to this Beer Guys TV podcast. Sponsor messages you hear on our podcast are paid endorsements unless otherwise stated. These messages help us bring Beer Guys TV to you. We encourage you to support our sponsors so that we may continue to provide quality entertainment and information. Our reviews are honest opinions. Your opinion and taste may vary. We encourage you to try beers and products for yourself and form your own opinions. We'd love to hear from you. Tell us what beer you like and send us your suggestions for us to review. You can contact us at BeerGuysTV at gmail.com. Which way to go with this one? Whoa, Whoa. wait! Whoa. <laughs> that was an empty. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Let's go that way. Just stay there. I'll get the... You sure? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, hey! <laughs> <laughs> we got all kinds of issues. This is... <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.